um, in the honorary consulate of Pakistan. And you can see those flags. Assalamu alaikum friends, uh, this is Kareem again from Kareem Travel Advisors. Today I'm with someone special, uh, the Honorary Kia Nakadama. She's the Honorary Consular uh, for Pakistan in Uganda. And uh, I was very, very impressed and uh, actually happy the services she had been uh, doing for, of course, the Pakistani community and Ugandan as well, bringing them both together. And let me tell you, she has been a member of parliament of Uganda for three times and also the state minister for gender and culture affairs. So uh, she's been a very special person and she'll tell you about uh, her you know, experience with Pakistani people and of course, you know, uh, duties and everything she has been doing here in the Honorary Council of Pakistan. So here she is. Uh, thank you so much, Karim. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming to Uganda. You're welcome. Uh, like I've told you, I'm here on behalf of the Pakistan people in Uganda. The Pakistan people are real friendly. Thank they you so friendly much. People. I've been with them for now. Before, when I was still a minister, I was working with them because my ministry, which was uh, Minister of Gender and Culture Affairs, was uh, were working with them in terms of culture wow. and, of course, promoting cultures because we have different cultures. You can understand exactly. they're really different, and of course, other things like uh, business and so on. Now that uh, I'm their consul in Uganda. I've again interacted more with them. Right. I've been, you know, we interact together. We dine, in fact, together uh -huh. when we have occasions. Wow. And they are really very good people. Thank you so, so much. So, Uganda as a country, we love the Pakistan people because they Thank brought so business here in Uganda. Right. They are investors. They have invested a lot of money. And uh, we continue, I continue to encourage more people. To come to Uganda. Uganda has opened the doors for everybody. I think Uganda is one of the countries that is more peaceful, allowing people to come. Their hospitality is so good. So I encourage many people to come, especially our Pakistan people, because my role here as a consul is mainly to bridge the gap, right? to strengthen our bilateral relations between Uganda and Pakistan. We want to see Uganda grow and we want to see Pakistan grow. We want Together, that friendship, right. yeah, that friendship to be strengthened. So when we are here, we call upon all those people, the business community who are in Pakistan to come and invest in Uganda. Uh, also the Ugandan people to see that what we have can be taken to Pakistan. Pakistan right. For example, in Uganda we have tea. Right. And Pakistan, I know, they take a lot of tea. Right. We can even do the butter trade. Right. We can do butter trade. When we take tea to Uganda, to Pakistan, we can bring other things there, like exactly. machinery, agricultural mm -hmm. products. They can come to Uganda. So I'm calling upon everybody. Uh, Karim, this is very good. We welcome you. And I thank you so much for this program that you've been running, coming here as a tourist. We welcome you. The Ugandan people are real friendly. No doubt. We about have that. no problem. Testify, there is. We have a lot of peace in exactly. Uganda. Exactly. Our weather is the best no in doubt. the world. Right. No Uganda doubt. has the best weather in the world. Uganda is on the equator. So whoever wants to see this best weather in the world, please come Thank and visit the Pearl of Africa, no which doubt. is Uganda. Uh, I think people who are still scared are those ones who have not heard of recent. Very For good. the last 30 years, we have been really peaceful. Mm -hmm. Under this uh, government, the, the NRM government, uh, which is uh, under the leadership of His Excellency Yoweri Kagutam Seven, a lot has been changed. Very good. A lot has been changed. We are so peaceful. We have no fighting, nothing. We are doing what we want. Mm -hmm. And Uganda has really been from it has been developed, it, it has, has been, been growing, growing, and of recent, they were saying President Museveni has been the best president wow. mm, for the last uh, year, yeah, yes, for this uh, for Uganda because our GDP has also yes. gone up. So, I just want to show those people who still think that we are in those eras where we had a lot of insecurity, it is not this time. This is um, for under the leadership of uh, NRM government, 
we've had peaceful transactions right. people are so peaceful and uh, even government we are moving on well yeah. i have personally i have been in government i have been a minister like you said before exactly. i have been a member of parliament and right now i'm still here <laughs> as a, so i know much of course which of is course. in government exactly. so i want to tell everybody who is there that uganda is one of the peaceful countries and the hospitable uh, no yeah with a hospitable community in case somebody want to come and visit you are most welcome to Uganda. And I have very many Pakistanis who are here. They are doing their business peacefully. Exactly. Nobody has touched them. It is not like other countries, you know, when you go to a country where you were a foreigner, you need to you know to get ties with other people, the lot people before you open up your business. Exactly. In Uganda, it's not like it is that. a different case. Even so, I was in a Lira, there are people yes. in Pakistanis in Lira, there's yes. association and there are people in Kabale. The so, Pakistanis I mean, like, wow. are all over Uganda. Exactly. Pakistani people are all over Uganda. When yes. you go to Gulu, when you go to Lira, when you go to Mbarara, you'll find the Pakistani yes. community. So, Pakistani community. So they are doing their work. Right. Mm. right. Thank you so much. Uh, you, you are welcome. Uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, Henri Kia Nakadama, and uh, she, as she said that uh, she's always ready and the government is always ready to help our Pakistani people, Pakistani business people, and even if you're here for tourism, you will not feel, uh, you know, uh, unsafe. You're always welcome here as a tourist person, as an investor, as any type of person. You just, if you are going, uh, you know, to any part of Africa, I would request everybody to have a stopover in Uganda and see for yourself how beautiful the country is, how beautiful the people are. And I guarantee you this, you will never ever, you know, go away without falling in love with Uganda, to be honest, and never regret your decisions. Exactly, very true. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next video with more, uh, of course, information about Uganda and the people as well and the culture. Till then, Allah Hafiz.